Welcome to German history with a German accent. My name is Wolf, W-O-L-F, just like the animal and in today's video I'm speaking about Adolf Eichmann. As always, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like and subscribe button and don't forget to drop me a comment below. Otto Adolf Eichmann was born on March 19, 1906 in Solingen near Düsseldorf, as son of Karl Adolf and Maria Eichmann. In the year 1914, the family immigrated to Austria, where his father found work. After Maria Eichhorn died in the year 1916, his father remarried. Adolf Eichmann left school without graduating. In the year 1932, he joined the Austrian NSDAP, the National Socialist German Workers' Party, and the SS. When both party and SS were prohibited in Austria, Eichmann moved to Bavaria as a member of the Austrian Legion, a paramilitary unit of Austrian Nazi refugees. There Adolf Eichmann underwent a 14-month long training in the German SS and volunteered to the Sicherheitsdienst SD, the intelligence service of the SS under the command of Reinhard Heydrich, and I made another video about him which you can find if you click on the eye in the top right corner of this video. Since June 1935, Eichmann worked in the Department 2 112 Jews, where he worked closely with the Gestapo, tasked with the so-called emigration of Jews, but in reality it was an expulsion of Jews. Eichmann, who saw Jews as an eternal enemy of National Socialism suggested that Jews needed to be robbed of their livelihood and welcomed programs against them so they would live in fear. In the same year, 1935, Adolf Eichmann also married Veronika Liebel. After the Anschluss in the year 1938, when Nazi Germany annexed Austria, Adolf Eichmann was transferred as SD leader to the SS Oberabschnitt Donau. During the Kristallnacht on November 9, 1938, he commanded units committing crimes against Jews. Up until the year 1939, Adolf Eichmann built so-called central stations for Jewish emigration in Vienna and Prague that expelled over 150,000 Jews within 18 months in Vienna alone. With the beginning of the Second World War, less and less countries were willing to accept fleeing Jews and the German strategy changed from emigration to deportation. Jews from Germany and occupied territories were transported under miserable conditions into ghettos, which were soon overcrowded had very poor hygiene standards and lacked food. After the war against the Soviet Union began in June 1941, so-called SS Einsatzgruppen immediately began murdering Jews, communists and other by the National Socialist regime unwanted groups in the German occupied territories. By September 1941, Adolf Eichmann had been told the German dictator ordered the murder of all Jews in the German-controlled territories. He prepared speeches, for example for Reinhard Heydrich, during the Wannsee Conference in January 1942, where the final solution to the Jewish question was discussed. Afterwards, he supervised large-scale deportations to killing camps. The SS Obersturmbahnführer visited all bigger camps where he witnessed executions. The mass deportation of Hungarian Jews began in March 1944 when German troops invaded the country to avoid Hungary to make a separate peace agreement with the Soviet Union. The Hungarian Jews, whom were relatively untouched until then, were sent to Auschwitz where they were either used for forced labor or simply had been executed. 
By the end of the Second World War, Adolf Eichmann was captured by US troops and he posed as a Luftwaffe soldier with the name Adolf Bart. Yet, since his blood type was tattooed to his arm, the US forces immediately identified him as a member of the SS. He then tried to pose as SS Untersturmführer Otto Eckmann. He was able to escape the camp before the troops lifted his real identity. And up until the year 1950, he lived in different locations in West Germany. And he made money as a lumberjack and sold eggs from chickens he held. By that time, Adolf Eichmann had saved enough money to escape through the so-called Red Lines, which was a system of escape routes for Nazis after the Second World War to flee Europe to Latin America with the help of members of the Catholic Church. Posing as Ricardo Clement, he emigrated to Argentina, where he lived until the year 1960, when he had been kidnapped by Israeli Mossad agents whom brought Eichmann to Israel. Documents released in the early 2000s revealed that by the year 1958, the Western German Intelligence Service, as well as the CIA, were aware of Adolf Eichmann's whereabouts at that time. Neither agency revealed this information to Israel at that time. Instead, it was surviving Jews out of concentration camps who informed Israel. In Israel, Adolf Eichmann was put on trial lasting from April until December 1961. He was found guilty of war crimes, crimes against humanity, and crimes against the Jewish people, and he was sentenced to death. Several guards were posted in and around his cell 24-7 to avoid him committing suicide before his sentence could have been carried out. After several unsuccessful appeal attempts, Adolf Eichmann was hung on June 1, the year 1962, in a Ramlar near Tel Aviv in Israel. He died at the age of 56. Thank you so much for watching.